This is topic nine, the combination of work and potential energy. It's gonna go on page 23 on the bottom half. So page 23 should have topic eight on top. Topic seven here. Topic nine right there on the bottom. And this is the only example. So um, draw this roller coaster scene right here. This is, um, what is this? We're gonna call this position one position two, and down here, position three. The mass of the roller coaster is 1,000 kilograms, and these are the different heights at different spots. Draw this kind of small in the corner, and then these are the four questions I would, we're going to answer that are going to connect the relationship between work and potential energy. Because if you know how, how much work was done to lift something, then you know the potential energy of that object at that spot. This is gravitational potential energy. So if an object falls, you know that's potential energy decrease. Well, however much it falls down, that's how much work gravity did to bring it down, force times distance. In other words, work will always tell you your change in potential energy, or the other way around. So let's look at some like examples of ways that you can show me that. I won't ask you this much on a task, but I will ask you something like it. So what's the change in potential energy as it's lifted up from position one to position two? Now I can find potential energy there and potential energy here and solve for the distance. But I also know that change in potential energy is just mass times gravity times, well, how much did the height change? which is 1,000 times 9.8 times a change of from 50 to 100 is 50 meters. It went one from 50 to 100, the difference is 50 meters. And so our potential energy is 490,000 joules. That's how much potential energy increased. So how much work did the actual machinery have to do to lift it up? Well, it's the same. 490,000 joules. However much potential energy changed, that's how much work was done. Same thing, let's find out potential energy from two all the way down here to spot three. That's mass times gravity times change in height. 1,000 times 9.8 times negative 100 because it's falling down. And that one is, uh, let's clear it, 1,000 times 9.8 times 100, and we'll make that a negative. Where's the button? Okay. Negative 980,000 joules. So as it's falling, it's losing negative 980,000 joules of potential energy because it's losing height, losing height, losing height. So I'm out of space, but you're still working. So how much work was done by gravity? Well, gravity is the force that's pulling it down over that distance. Well, we don't really want to do all that. You can just know that uh, it's the same. Gravity did 980 joules. Now the work done by gravity is positive because the distance is downward and the force by gravity is downward. So, so its ability to do work is increasing as it falls, which makes sense. It's going faster, and if it, if it were to land on top of your head, there would be a big difference in work, depending on how far it had fallen. So what I want you to be able to do is uh, connect concepts from uh, the text on the idea of work and potential energy, and put that together with the formula. So it's topic 7 plus topic 8 equals topic 9.